What's going on, Show Nation? It's a movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I want to talk about the best ways to get XP. There was a patch last night as we get ready for the new program, which also drops today. General gameplay updates, uh, fielding and base running improvements, more adjustments to locking into the ball marker, still committed to monitoring improvement, proving what issues may remain. Hopefully fielding will get a little bit better. Uh, the locking in has been something they've been trying to figure out all year. You know, we had those new animations with like the diving and when we are supposed to dive and all that. So it's like, it's been a work in progress. So hopefully uh, it gets uh, closer to being fixed. Uh, they patched a perfect jump steal attempt versus the CPU. They fixed the logic decision that allowed the CPU control third baseman to throw out somebody at home instead of going to first base. Um, another fix made to the inf now infamous home run OSD. Uh, you always, if you, I don't know, for some reason it isn't fixed, you can always hit pause real quick and it'll go away. It kind of covers up the score bug in the down, right? Uh, I love how they typed in the now infamous, like, I like how they're like self deprecating about it. Uh, always know, guys, like, all these guys that make the game, they're super freaking nice, man. They're nice, they're good people, man. They're trying to make the best game possible. Uh, let's see, uh, fix an issue, the home opponent, ERAs, let's see if there's anything else interesting, get the mercy re rule in league games, uh, conquest issue, reduce the amount of XP in play versus friends, retro mode, and home run derby, to be more in line with other modes, fix the bug that was preventing players from exchanging duplicates of cards in their lineups. I know some people were having that issue where they buy something out of the market to exchange for showdown or what have you, and it wouldn't show up. So that should be fixed now. Um, they, they toned down March to October, the double amount intended. So if you're doing some March to October's for showdown, that's going to be back to where it normally is now. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys can pause at any point to read this, but since the patch, I want to talk to you guys about the best ways to get XP. Now, honestly, um, in my opinion, this has been the best way to get XP. Honestly, even with before this patch, and that's doing either the stage two American league or stage two national league showdowns. This is the best method to get XP regardless of anything else. Like first of all, you get 300 for this one, 300 for this one, 300 for this one, 2000 for this one. Uh, you get three, 750, 750, 750, 3,000 for this one, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 6,000 for this one. That's a lot of XP. I do not find stage two to be very difficult. I just don't flat out. Don't stage one or stage two. I haven't even done the American league one. Can't imagine it's too much more difficult. Make sure you just draft really good offensive players. Maybe get one pitcher. And if you even just like skipped all these, went to the boss, skipped all these, went to the boss, skipped all these, went to the boss. That's 6,000, that's uh, 9,000, and that is 11,000 XP if you just skip to the boss every time. Plus you're getting a silver pack, you're getting a show pack, and you're getting um, some vouchers for Team Affinity. You're also getting uh, 750 stubs, let's call that. Um, uh, 1,250 subs, and you're getting uh, another thousand subs. So you're getting 2,250 subs. You got to put in 1,000 subs to start. So every time you do it, you're also getting like a thousand subs or so, 1,250 subs or so. So that's pretty solid as well. That's why I like this one more. Not only are you getting XP, you're getting subs back too, and you're getting packs. And the silver, you never know what you're going to get in this pack. And the silver pack. Um, it can even, you can have a higher player than a silver in this pack. It's not exactly, uh, it's, it's rare to have happen, but it's still a silver card. That's pretty legit to sell in the market. That's probably another 300 to 800 stubs for that silver pack. I mean, honestly, and who knows what you're going to get out of the other pack. It could be incredible. You never know. And, uh, I think it's pretty easy just to, as long as you get to this, you're going to get the gold player and a gold perk. You're going to get a, uh, another diamond player and a diamond perk to add to go up against this one. And maybe if you beat this one, maybe you play a couple of these two. You're still going to get 1,000 XP for all those. Probably worth it to try some of those. 
The ones I like to do though, obviously, are ones that do not have uh, a lot that you have to do. I want to play like one inning. You know, I want to either like save the game or get some hits in the first inning type of deal. That that's just gonna be the best way to manage your time. So to me, the best way to get XP without question is doing these showdowns. Take advantage of them. There's another exchange you guys can do too. Like if you're starting to get all the players you want to get out of the affinities, I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but they have another exchange also. You can exchange oh it's just team one affinity vouchers. Oh never mind. For some reason I thought it was team two affinity vouchers. Uh or stage two affinity vouchers, but it's just stage one. So I guess you will have to put those towards players that you want, but I guess I should say also if you go to the team affinity, I mean is if you really yeah, they got this they got this which is pretty cool now that shows you what percent you are for each of the teams. But there are a couple of team affinity collections that you could go after also in Legends of Flashbacks. You know, you can collect all the faces of the franchise. There's some more XP in there. You get a bonus, a habit pack. If you just really don't, aren't having much fun with online, this is really worth it to go after. Uh, you get another, uh, I would just go and get all these cards done. Collect all this stuff uh, the best that you can. And uh, I, I really, I just say that because I really, <laughs> I want that uh, nameplate. You guys know I like a lot of uh, 80s music. I want that nameplate. Uh, Let's we'll see a sound effect for that. But I would recommend going after these collections. Uh, there's so many. So this is why Showdown's so good, man. I mean, there's just so much stuff that you get from it. Uh, let's look at the, the Royals where I'm completely complete on one of them. So if you get all of these to 100%, you're going to get some some of these that you can exchange. Uh, you're going to get let's let's count up what you're gonna get two thousand subs three packs six thousand subs nine packs twelve packs a ball and as a habit pack nine thousand subs and the future star card so you're gonna get nine thousand subs twelve packs and a ball and as a habit pack for getting through all these plus you're gonna get a couple of good free cards so that's pretty solid right there you know what I'm saying that's pretty dang solid on top of all the subs you're gonna get back. From doing the other part of it as well you know at the top of all the xp that you're gonna get there's just really nothing like going through the showdowns that's just the best way to go about it there's no question in my mind that's the best way to get xp